Oh. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back. So this week, uh, this week's adventure is going to be an install. And uh, ironically, it's an install I personally wanted to do. It's not necessarily as huge of a deal for Amanda. And it's probably one of the weird things that uh, you may not realize that as a, as a, as a full-time RVer that you might want to upgrade. And that's the toilet. And so today we're upgrading from our stock toilet to the Dometic 320 flush system. And hopefully this is a quick and easy install. Um, we'll talk a little bit about the uh, Dometic 320. So a couple of things, if you notice that on your uh, factory toilet, or at least ours, we have one central sprayer at the back that sprays down and flushes everything that goes into the toilet down into the black tank. The Dometic 320 has a three circular, a 360 degree circular, uh, jet pattern to help flush everything it also sits a little bit taller it's a standard height toilet which is why he wanted to do this upgrade and i didn't really think about it because as you can see the <laughs> stock toilet is just a tiny bit tinier so that feel like fit your for knees me. are up here <laughs> not me he did though so um and then it also has uh an elongated bowl and we don't have to go into the details, but fellas, you understand the dilemma if you've ever sat on an RV toilet. And they are meant to be more compact in the compact space. So if you are small like me, it's not a big deal. But if you are a taller, more athletic person like my husband here, the upgrade is probably necessary. Yep. So uh, we're going to jump into it. A couple of uh, things that we did buy in advance, um, the, basically a ratcheting PEX tool. Um, I like the ratcheting versions. You can buy the ones that you just squeeze, but the ratchet ones make it simpler. And then this is an interesting one is because we have to cut the PEX pipe, we have the angle stop valve faucet connector for a sink, um, not necessarily for a toilet. And I'll explain why here in a little bit, but basically it comes down to fitting size. And so we're going to start with opening up the box that we just got. We ordered ours off of eTrailer.com. We are not sponsored by them. Um, we would have bought it from Camping World when it was on sale. We noticed that when we went to Camping World to buy it actually before, uh, you know, about a week or so ago and the sale ended and the price jumped up like $65. So immediately, yeah. immediately jumped on the internet, started looking around. And what do you know? It was on sale at eTrailer. So if you're out there doing some internet searching, trying to find the best price, you may find it. If you find it, buy it. If not, if you choose like me, like, uh, and you choose to wait a little bit, you're going to have to search again, which is okay. Cause that's exactly what we did and what we went through, but we're going to get started with, uh, opening up the box. We're going to lay everything out, but you know, that's how I like to do things is make sure we have everything, especially since we're going to be cutting the PEX tubing. We don't want to cut and then be toilet. Well, one toilet down from uh from our you know living in our grand design 397 so we're gonna get going on that okay so we're gonna start out with just seeing what we got it does come very well packaged i'll give it that See what we can pull out. Just lift it straight and out. Let's see what else we got in here. It doesn't look like anything, but you never know. All right. Well, the unboxing was certainly uh anticlimactic but we're going to take what we can we're going to look in we're going to make sure everything's good which i don't see any nicks or scrapes we got our instructions 
I'm already happy with the design quality. But, ah, here we go. We got some tools. Set those out here in a second. And then, basically, we're just going to make sure everything works like it's supposed to before we go on to the other job. And the other thing that we're going to do is our shower, uh, shower connector. We're going to make sure this actually connects before we even get started because cutting PEX pipe and then not having any way to seal it back up is a no-go. So we're going to just take a quick look. And before we even get started, we're going to make sure that this fits. This is our uh, faucet drain. If you go to Home Depot or one of the big box stores, it's going to say toilet drain. We're going to just make sure it fits on, which it does. And then we'll be able to loop this around however we need so that we have the flexibility, uh, more flexibility than the original PEX pipe. All right, so toilet's okay. And we got our bag of parts. Let's just take a quick look at what we got here. So we have our caps. These will go for the uh, toilet bolts. And then what looks to be replacement flange bolts or re replacement toilet bolts that will go on the flange. So we'll replace those. And then associated washers and nuts. So seems like a pretty straightforward process. Hopefully we can keep it under like 15, 20 minutes. Um, it's like we're in a good spot. We're gonna take this and set this all off to the side for now, leave it back here. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to take apart the old toilet, replace everything and go from there. So as we get ready to take out the uh, existing toilet, there's some things that we need to get ready for. Obviously we've been using our toilet. We've been full time for two years now. And so we're gonna get a large trash bag cause we're gonna literally just put the trash bag around the bottom of the toilet so that we can be sanitary as we move around throughout our rig and out the door. Um, before we even start to work on the water or start to work on the toilet, we do have to drain uh, the water or at least turn the water off. And then I'm gonna turn on the, the cold low point to drain the water out. I don't wanna drain my hot water so I don't have to turn off my hot water heater, but that's what we're gonna go do right now. First thing that we have to do is cut our water off. So we're going to cut that off there. Yep. And there is the low point. Ignore all the sand. This was from off of Joshua Tree. <laughs> we're going to flip this out. And we're going to drain all that extra water out so we can remove the toilet and not have leaks. So one of the things you always check for is you always want to make sure that it's drained. So what we're just going to simply do we're going to lift up the faucet. Nothing's coming out. Come over here to the toilet. Nothing's coming out. And we're ready to get started. So our next step, we're going to pop these off. Just take a little flathead screwdriver, pull them off. It's going to expose the bolt. We're going to do that on the other side. And what we want to do is we want to set everything away from this so that when we pick up this toilet, nothing goes into the septic tank. And then we're using a half inch uh, socket and we're gonna start to loosen. So we're gonna come to the back of the toilet. We're gonna follow our PEX line up and we should just be able to hand untighten our PEX tubing. We shouldn't have any water since we drained it, maybe a couple drips. And there we go. One other thing I forgot to mention is we do want to plug the hole while we're working, especially since you know we're gonna be recording, it's gonna take some time. But so what you do is you just grab a bunch of uh, paper towels, we're gonna put them in a plastic bag, and then what we'll do is once we get the toilet off, we'll just put this down in like a plug so that we don't get all the smells, and that'll give us time to. Uh, maneuver around and work out what we need to work out. So we're gonna set this off to the side and then now we're gonna lift up the toilet. All right, we're gonna lift up and out. And ironically, it looks pretty good. You are gonna 
put this down in. And this is all shavings from the original, from the original install it looks like. So we're gonna clean this up real quick. I'm gonna swap these out. Just, we're gonna swap these guys out. Set these off to the side again, away from the hole. Everything's always away from the hole. And we're gonna clean up real quick. <laughs> So one of the things to consider is once we cut this PEX tubing, if we let it go, it's going to fall back in. And so we're going to come up with a highly engineered plan to secure it. That way, when it when we cut up here, it, it doesn't slide down. Okay, so got our cutters. Cut. Look, nothing slid down. It's a miracle. Then we're going to put our shark bite in. And we're just going to push this. You got to fight with these things a little bit. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna give it a pull test. And then before we go any further, in case we have to fix it, we're gonna turn the shutoff valve off. And we're gonna see if Amanda screams when I turn the water back on. Oh, goody. <laughs> this is either gonna be really good or really bad. Oh, oh it's leaking a little bit. So it looks like we're good. All right, so for trial number one did not go so well if uh, we'll remember to put the video in. Long story short, we didn't push the PEX tubing in far enough. We pushed it in about a half an inch. Um, it clearly needed a little bit more of a push. I just didn't have the, I couldn't grip it. And so I just ended up taking this when the line wasn't pressurized and gently squeezing so I could press everything down. But we're now good. We have water, as you can see. Watch Amanda. Ah! Okay. <laughs> all, all right. It works. Oh, oh. I just got potty watered. Oh my God. That's clean water. It's blue light. So, okay. See? All right. Cut, cut, cut. All right. So next thing we're going to just pull our fancy holding tool. And you can see is it'll sit down right like so. And this will allow us to bend the hose around. It gives us the flexibility. It's not going to put any stress or pressure on these lines. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go get our new toilet bolts, which are back in the back of the toilet. Our new toilet bolts, which are back in the back of the toilet. And we're going to get that set in place. I'm going to bring the other toilet up here. Yeah, and then we're almost done with this install. <laughs> She's so mad at me. Remind me to never film him from inside the shower again, because... Mm-mm. <laughs> what? Nothing. Mm -hmm. All right, so we got our new toilet bolts, uh, toilet seat bolts. We're going to just slide these in. Slide it in on the other side. Again, we're keeping anything and everything away from the hole because we don't want to drop. I mean, who wants to go fishing for one of these in this pond? It's not me. So, um, next thing we're going to do is we're going to set the toilet 
on. It already has the seal on the bottom. Um, one thing we didn't show is actually when we took the original toilet off, the seal was still there. We just picked it up with, a, you know, with gloved hands, of course. Man, it looked it exactly like that black ring. It almost looked like it belonged. So just double check. Jeff was smart enough to actually tilt the toilet up a little bit and ask me to check for the seal. Um, had I been doing this by myself, which I wouldn't, I would not have known to check for it. Nor would, would I have sprayed my significant other with the water, but that's just me. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to grab the toilet. We're going to set this off to the side. Got a little tray there for that. And we're going to line these up. Wow, and no one got sprayed. Really do hold a grudge. <laughs> well, until my t-shirt dries. I get a hold of grudge. So our next step is we're going to put our washers and our bolts on. Put the washer on top or on first. And what you're going to see is I'm leaning actually on top of the toilet to kind of compress the flange or the to compress the seal down. And I'm going to finger tighten this as much as I can. Switch over to the other side. And we're not moving. And then the last piece. Is, we're going to take this. And thread it on. And we're not going to go too crazy. Because we don't want to break the plastic threads. Check and feel for water. Give ourselves a turn. And we're gonna give it a check. And it's good. And the final touches, we're gonna put the caps on and these just pop into place. Just little grabbers for the threads on the bolt. And we're gonna just check and make sure that everything we have going is good well guys that's the uh, install video it's pretty straightforward process um <laughs> she is still very mad at me i'm not mad do i look mad <laughs> after she got done hitting me is when we recorded this so um oh, but... <laughs> cut that part cut <laughs> say that if we were not filming the process it would take two people and I say two people because I think it's important to have um, a buddy system when it comes to turning the water off and on just so that you don't have any issues or damage anything wooden in the bathroom I'd say between 20 to 25 minutes um, and I got to learn a little bit more about the water system in the rig and the low drain point which I think is important for me to learn because this is my house too yep. um, it also learned I also learned that there's very minimal tools requirement for the toilet install. I thought it would be way more complicated because the water lines taking a whole toilet unit out, but it was actually a pretty simple process. And that's the goal. So if you're watching this, we hope you enjoyed it. And if you liked it enough, give us a little like button. And if you are new to us, please consider subscribing. We, uh, we tour the country and we like to modify our rig. So it's just one of those adventures that we do in our life. So we'll see you guys next week. 